When, when things are hard and you're in a foreign place, there's a vulnerability there that spawns growth. Shapes you. I mean, it shapes character. You know, it shapes grit. The things that we know are going to make people happy and successful when they're older. But only if it's done right. Wrestling is a monastic lifestyle. The immaturity challenges. The emotional challenges. We're putting them in a space where we're saying, this stress release for you, this thing that you like to do naturally, fight, grapple, we're encouraging them to do it in a positive environment. My coach recently just said, that's because they're not used to being in a room with you does not mean you cannot be yourself on a mat. I have a lot of tattoos, tall, I'm very muscular, and I feel like people have a certain expectation out of me once I show up on a mat. You see what I'm saying? That's, it's hard, man. we all been here. Most of our kids in every city go to wrestling tournaments where they're the only minority-driven team. Thank our coaches who deliver our mission are the single most important people in all of our organizations. Because coaches build culture, great culture, and high sky, high expectations, along with the vehicle of wrestling, changes lives. I have a brother, he's sitting in eighth grade. I'm, I'm, I'm anti-social. Anti. Anti-social. <laughs> Help? Yeah, who are you gonna give coaching to? I'm not, a coach. I'm not a coach. We have kids at different places in their journey, and it is a long-term journey. If you get a kid in sixth grade, you got six years to help them shape themselves, uh, you know, enough to know that at 30, they're going to be successful. Building relationships with the kids that tell you any and everything you want to know. You know, I rather, like, before I make those assumptions, right, build those relationships. We just had a father killed. Twin seven-year-olds have been in our program for the last year. There's something to say just for bringing our kids here together.